Hello and greetings everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and today we're continuing on with some more Death Road to Canada. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, this game was developed and published by Mad Garden and Rocket Cat Games, which I both have to say thank you to both these companies for hooking me up a copy of this game to do a Let's Play series, our blind Let's Play series on, and a review after I finish playing it here. So we are trying to make it through here and seeing how this goes for us. Um, it, uh, unfortunately, our last character got possessed by a demon, and he decides that he's done with us and doesn't need us anymore. Oh my goodness, is that... There's a bunch of cops here. This is, uh, different. I've never seen this before. Um... Are they pigs? Or are they humans? Ready to rock. Yeah, this is what I trained for. Just cops, I guess. And we're in a siege mode, and it's just me, the medic, and Cindy Mini Buns. Um, I am definitely gonna loot as we go through this place. And we got cops helping us, which is different. Cindy Mini Buns is my hero. Oh boy. Siege is over, you can try to escape. Come on, Cindy Mini Bonds. And uh, let's see if we can get out of here alive. That'd be nice. That'd be preferable. And, uh, things are looking grim. I don't know if we're going to make it. Here we go. And, uh, the cops are following us. Do you want to leave this location? Yes, I do. Food found, nine, ammo, and, uh, here we go. The cops did not join us, uh, at all. Just me, and what's the same as we can make it as long as we keep our supplies and morale up. Yep. The car is completely out of gas and coasted to a stop car abandoned. So we abandoned the car and we're running. Without a car, the group is sitting ducks for bandits. The group is ambushed by awkward bandits. I apologize for the robbery. They are like what they are likely new at this. Um, Cinnamon Mineral reasons with them. City Mineral convinces the bandits to not go through with the attack. They didn't want to anyway. Feeling pity, City Mineral gives them our five food. <laughs> we didn't have food really to spare on this. After a long hike, the group finds a nice clear clearing to set up camp. The weather is nice and peaceful and is able to rest peacefully. We eat a decent meal. We eat all our food. City Man spots a car in the middle of the road and then rushes to, over to discover a car that looks suspiciously like the car that started their journey in. City Man takes the keys that she kept from the old car and sticks them into the ignition. It starts. Here we go again. Wow. So our car is back and running again. The group feels inspired after managing to survive this situation. They feel... Like they are getting the hang of this. Um, let's gain a morale and random skill. Everyone gets great teacher. Let's see, every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Medic's morale is increased. Cindy Mini rolls in or morale is increased. Medic's strength is increased to not so crappy. And same with Cindy Mini rolls. Well, still crappy, just not as good. <laughs> So here we are. Oh, at the end of the day, the group hides in a drafty old house. Some zombies roam around outside. The doors of the house are barely on their hinges. Should someone barricade the house? Oh, okay. Stay on watch all night. Who would stay up for the nights? Not trusting their abilities to barricade the house. Cindy Mini Rolls stays on watch all night. Instead, she exhausts it in the morning. The group finds there is no food left at all. The spirit creeps in. Yeah, they're looking forward to... I, we might make it to Canada. The group is traveling close to Nightfell and sees a city in the distance. The zombies grow more aggressive at the sun sets. Um, 
Let's go to the bookstore. Um, can't hurt you, no. And there's the bookstore. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Hurry, 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 hurry. We gotta go. Let's gotta go to the bookstore. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Take that. Move that. And there's books everywhere. Um. Oh boy, we don't want to stick around here too long. Um. None of these books. Oh, there's a book. Book. Let's see. Medic finds a book in condition among the ruins of the magazines and books. Uh, the books. This is titled "The Science of Shooting Stuffs Into His Back." Um, I'm not gonna want to stay around here too long, so we're gonna go check out the other place really quick. Um, I want to find some food, so we might go search the house uh, if we can, um, and then leave. Definitely don't want to stick around here too long. Come on, Cindy Mini. Did you take care of that zombie? All right. Found some food, which is good. Um, no food there. Um, some gas. Gotta hurry. Can't dig around at all. Can't risk getting swarmed by zombies. Found some ammo. Bullets. Uh, junk. Nothing here. Nothing here, too. And nothing here. Come on, mini, mini, mini. We gotta get out of here. And one food, I guess, is better than no food. And we managed to drive through that. Uh, Pretty, uh, let's see, the book of, uh, let's see, the group now has the book of science of shooting. Everyone gets a chance to read and learn some new things. Cool, so our shooting's getting slightly better. Um, we're down to one food. It's nice having the whole road to yourself. Yeah, I imagine so. But the group is ambushed by a, ye a yelling man. He rants and raving. He doesn't look particularly dangerous. Um, but those rants are starting to sizzle. Sitting in any wells, listens to the renting man and tries to reason with him. The man calms down and explains that he thought the groups were bandits. Man, I can feel it. Feel it. We're going to run into something good. Mm -hmm. The group sets up camp outside a grocery store. They notice another group has been following them. We'll probably attempt to loot the place. Send one person to loot. Um. Let them have it and avoid trouble. The group wisely chose not to get into a big fight about some cans of food. There will be other grocery stores with less humans to worry about. The group didn't nearly have enough food to eat. Doubts fester. May I give you clean your eyes? This cat food also looks tastes taste like tuna. Yep. Let's see. The group finds a strange looking cargo container flipped on its side, lying in the middle of the road. It got a valve. Exhaust port sticking out of it, venting steam and smell of flesh. Get wings, warning, hot. The group approaches the cargo container and opens the door and giant mounts of boiling hot sauce pours out a tidal wave. Medic is hurt, Timmy rolls. The group takes what they figured they can eat before the chicken wings spoil on the road. It was all worth it. We got uh, 16 things of food out of that. Nice, that's what we needed because we can heal ourselves back up just fine. That saved us a lot there. Um, so we're getting along. The storm descends on the group in pouring rain. The zombie, the zombie of the city, search for the living. Infested stronghold or bar? Um, let's go with the bar, I guess. You know, it sounds like it might be a less dangerous place to go. All right, let's find that bar. Where's the bar? Is that the bar down there? I'm not seeing the bar. Ouch, I got bit. Let's 
go. We don't need to waste our time with him. And, uh, yeah. Here we go, guys. And we're not finding a lot of supplies, which is, uh... A little bit troubling there. And, uh... Ow. Hopefully we can make it through this. I'm kind of worried that we won't have our Kung Fu Master with us anymore. Um... He definitely helped a lot. It'd be nice to have uh, Bacon back. After he got possessed, I guess you could say. Um, I did not find this bar that they mentioned. Oh boy. the bar before we have to leave this place. Any mini buns? There we go. I didn't find the bar, um, which is kind of bummer there. So we got seven days left here. We'll see how this goes. It's nearly let's see. It's nearly time to camp, but there has been lots of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Who should? Uh, Shoots, who should see on light? Uh, watch. Uh, Sydney Mini Rolls. Sydney Mini Rolls stands guard for the night. She managed to stay awake, but feels pretty bad in the morning. And uh, she feels tired. And then she's seen herself. She can get into hockey. The group is, let's see, continues making progress along Death Road. As long as one person remains alive, the dream of Canada, uh, the Canada lives on. You have 22 le food left. And unexpectedly, the group finds someone they can trade with. That's nice. Um, hopefully that we can find some stuff in here, like food. Let's see, the group talks to a friendly scavenger who's selling extra bullets. She claims not to use pistols due to how gunshots rile up zombies. Um, no thank you. Oh, let's see, a group finds a dumpster locked tight with a slot in the side. Though These are weapons names. There are weapons names and price scroll near the holes. And no, we don't want any of that because we need everything we can get. Huh, a witch. What she say? Brooms are pretty good weapons, though. We can get a black cat for uh, 13 food. Um, that's interesting. I wonder what a black cat would do. Um, I don't think we have the, the food, the weight on that. No, I'd rather not waste our food. Um, we're doing okay for right now. 
So look at this, guys. We are making it pretty good for here. Let's see. The car completely runs out of gas and coasts to abandoned stop. While walking, City Minerals doesn't notice a hole in her backpack. By the time she realizes this, there has been hours of opportunities for supplies to fall out. Um, bummers. After a hard day of looking for a car, the group finds a camping spot. During the night, they are attacked by ants. They must leave without sleep. Oh boy. Meg rolls up his sleeves and starts sending the wounds. Meg treats her wounds. He's running on a little medical supplies. The group finds a rest stop after hours of walking along the road. Right in front of them of it is a car that looks like it can be driven. The keys must be somewhere near. All right. So we're looking good here and we're going to pause it and stop the video here for right now. But as you, you can see, folks, we might actually make it through. We're getting pretty close. This is definitely the furthest I've ever made it recording with you guys. Um, so hopefully we do well here and we'll continue on next time. As I always say at the end of all my videos here, flip that bacon. See you next time and goodbye.